the game is winnable and I might be able to get a Colobanus here. The only problem is there are three weasels alive and two of them are on the cap. I do have the HP though, 12 seconds remaining. Hey everyone, as you have already know by now that the weasel was fixed this last week as it had the incorrect camo bonus it was getting. So let me give you a backstory first. When the weasel was released, it had 35 meters of camo. Even at the time when I made the review, I did not know that it's a bug and it's not support, supposed to have 35 meters of the camo. But uh, as more people played it, people realized it, people calculated it and, it, and reported that uh, weasel was getting incorrect camo bonus because our weasel in era 2 is a light tank. And I assume the reason it happened because the weasel in era 3 is a TD and when maybe they use some common objects or it must be related to that that when the era 2 weasel was created, it, uh, it it got the tank destroyer camo values as opposed to the the light tank camo values. At least that's my that's my theory that because we have two weasels and uh, the first one is a tank destroyer. Nonetheless, that was or that is now fixed. So now the the full camo after everything is 109. It is no longer 35. It is no longer a proxy tank, and it should not have been a proxy tank or should not be a proxy tank. And in my opinion, no tank should be a proxy tank. So, so when they fixed it, it did, did, it did fix one of the issues where you could spot them. You don't have to proxy the tank, you can spot them at a distance. The only thing worth noting is they did fix the camo net. However, the camo net bonus, which uh, increased the camo, however, the camo paint bonus is still incorrect when I was playing this game. So the camo paint bonus for light tank is 6% and for TD it's 4%. So when the camo, net, net, uh, camo paint bonus will get fixed, the camo will improve slightly by 2%. So it would not be a big change as it was when they fixed the camo net, where your concealment went from 35 meters to 109 meters. So it's no longer a proxy tank. And uh, it might go down to 105 meters at best when they fix the camo paint as light tanks get a better camo paint, paint uh, bonus and some people labeled it as a nerf but it was not a nerf to the tank itself because none of the tanks value were changed and they always it was advertised as a light tank and uh, it was just getting td unfortunately it was getting td values and then the values were changed to light tank none of the actual tank stats were changed so in my eyes it was not a nerf it was a fix and uh, this, this left fix the camo paint but has it fixed the problem though? Is Weasel not broken anymore? Unfortunately, it is slightly less broken, but still broken enough. The problem with this tank, one of the main problems with this tank is how small it is, how fast it is, the huge clip potential. That's the main problem. The cube clip potential with the penetration, and it does not suffer from the minimum arming distance because there are no missiles. So the tank might get spotted a little sooner now, but the good or more experienced players, they will they are still be able to play this tank in a, effectively where the opponent will not have an opportunity to react and kill the tank. And even in the scenarios where it's a close quarter map, and even if you're spotted, you just get a window where the opponent is engaged to someone your, or your teammate, and then you just go around and kill the tank. So the main problem with this tank is uh, ability to delete a tank in a very small amount and that's the biggest problem we have in era 2 right now in general if there is any tank that does not give you time to react and can kill you it doesn't have to kill every tank right but even if it can kill some tanks that is an issue this then then moves away from your strategical technical game to more of a run and gun game where everyone is just running and killing everyone and that's not fixed. So yes, the, the, the camo net bonus was fixed. You can see the tank a little easier, but the tank is still one of the most broken, not one of the most, it is the most broken era 2 tank. So getting back into this game, 2v6 now, and uh, our light tank, for some reason, unfortunately, he went to the other side, it is engaging two tanks, and 
Lucky for us, one of the real committed suicide. 4600 damage. I was hoping that the light would kill our light would kill there at least one weasel so I have to not worry about three but only two weasels unfortunately he wasn't able to and uh, I don't even have that many shells I have like 300 shells remaining I wasted most of my shells I did not aim properly I wasn't expecting myself to win this position as the game at one point was 7v7 eight seconds remaining going towards the cap and one of them jumped off the cap, probably saw me coming. Lucky for me here, they have less HP and also for some reason one of them was not moving. And I've played Weasel enough where I know not to stop and their tank did. And also once you get behind them, you have enough speed, you should be able to kill them easily. Again, same, same mistake by, made by the other Weasel as well. He stopped and if you stop, if you're fighting a Weasel, and one of the weasel stops that means you're dead you might be able to do a little bit of damage because you cannot rotate the gun long enough and the weasel that is still moving all it has to do is auto lock and it will be able to delete you so one we three now 200 shells remaining another weasel he's he got on the cap and then left and that they do have a t10 as well as a td alive t10 or the heavy tank is healthy not sure if it's t10 or t80 but it is healthy and could be a problem i do have smoke as well as fuel to just go in kill a tank and then get away as long as i time my smoke usage properly i might be able to not take much damage because i, I cannot kill both these tanks in the same clip as well as i'm not sure where the tank destroyer is so just waiting for the right opportunity and just realize that now again there are two tanks on the cap. The plan is to kill the weasel first and uh, hope that the tank destroyer is not close enough. A little technical difficulty here. Lost all my sp speed. Not the best thing to happen. I do know where the weasel is. I could see him. True vision. Activated my fuel. There weasel again. He was not moving. I was able to kill him. And then I was able to do it. I would say a decent clip to the, the heavy tank without taking any damage from heavy tank. I did take some from weasel though. Doesn't matter the damage of my engine. I don't have a repair kit. And as soon as I was unspotted, I thought I'm safe. I took a shot from the heavy tank. I should have just kept moving. Uh, and that's what surprised, surprised me in era two. There's people aim is really good because if someone's unspotted and they're moving really fast, I can't hit them. But a lot of the time I would be relaxed if that I'm not spotted in a weasel as I'm going really fast, but I would get hit by the opponent. So it's even when you're unspotted, at least just got unspotted, it's better to just go left and right or wiggle no, instead of just going in a straight line. So 1v2 now, all the weasels are dead. I was able to kill the last three remaining weasel and do some damage to T10. I know the tank destroyer is. Uh, half I don't think it's more than half HP but uh, the problem is is I only have hundred fifteen shells remaining and T80 is now going in I have no idea where the tank destroyer is I hope I'm assuming he's in the city I just wanted to wait for a right opportunity where I can ambush the T the heavy tank without taking any damage as I will not survive if I take any more shots 242 he could kill with the half the alpha, what the alpha of his tank is. So no room for mistakes, not to mention the fuel tank is also damaged. So just wanted to spot the heavy here with the third person. And uh, I had, I could see him earlier, but somehow he has disappeared. Not sure what happened or where he went, but he's gone. Trying to, to get an... Uh, to get spot here I, the last thing i want is both of the tanks to be together so i was very hopeful the the td as i said is in the town so I wanted to ambush this heavy tank it, it is difficult for him because especially when i'm going down here he does get spotted now when i'm going down he cannot really aim at me that easily not to mention i do have fuel 1200 hp remaining i do have 2500 clip potential and but i do have to connect most of my shots activating nitro here and just started spraying this heavy tank his
gun wasn't able to keep up with my rotation and do manage to have a clean kill here bringing it to seven kills 8400 damage and only 35 remaining shells and still i have no idea where the tank destroyer is but now i have enough time i have five minutes where i can try to find the tank destroyer maybe i thought at this point he's going towards the the town or maybe he saw me kill his teammate and will be coming back but i decided to put cap pressure here so that uh, if i start capping obviously he has to come for me and i can just sit in the bush and clip him when he comes close as i was about to do that i just noticed there's a rock clawer sitting right here and he did not fire he wasn't spotted earlier when i was clipping so i got super lucky here and then got myself behind a bush and i do manage to kill rock crawler with whatever shells i had left just that i think i think i had like two or three extra shells otherwise i would not have been able to kill him 8900 damage eight kills and a colobanos always special as i say so that's it for this video let me know what you think about the tank well we already know it's broken but I hope you enjoyed the video though. Let me know in the comments what you think about the game and I will catch you in the next one. Have a great rest of your day.